Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will set up a brand new company using QuickBooks. I'm using QuickBooks uh, 2019, um, but uh, the interface is pretty much the same all the way back uh, to 2014, I believe. So it doesn't really matter what version you're using. You'll see a few differences, but uh, they shouldn't affect your workflow. So I'm going to fire up QuickBooks. I have an icon here. Um, it uh, asked me if I want to install updates. I'll just install that later in real life. I'll probably install that install that now. And I'll just maximize the screen here. Um, I'm going to create a brand new company. So I'll just use this option here. Um, they, QuickBooks or Intuit uh, it seems wants you to do the express start, but I'll use the detailed start. It allows me to basically answer a bunch of interview questions so I can customize my settings for my company um, before I, st I start using it. All of the questions that I answer here will also be available under the preferences, edit preferences menu, um, but uh, if we answer them now, that means we don't have to go here later. So I'll choose detailed start. Um, it allows me to add a bunch of information about my company here. I'm not going to bother with any of the address information. We can always change this under company, company information. So my company is West Coast Computers Incorporated. And I'll add my name here. You can add your own as well if you like. I want to hit tab, it pops it into the legal name, which is fine. Um, notice that province is a required field for sales taxes, as well as payroll taxes, I believe. And that's all I'm going to fill in here. Again, we can always add more information under the uh, company menu, <coughs> company, company information. So I'll choose next. It lets me know how I'm doing here. Um, I'll be creating a retail shop, but you can peruse this list to see what's available for you. I'll use retail shop or online commerce. And next. And we're going to use corporation. So you can see the differences between sole proprietorship and corporation, but these are all of the structures that are available for you. So basically, it should create your T1 form or your T2 form for you. I haven't actually looked at this, but uh, someday I will. And next, fiscal year for this uh, starts in January. So it's a brand new, uh, I guess the scenario would be that we're moving from an accounting system that we uh, finished in the previous fiscal year, the previous calendar year as well. I'll choose next. Um, we need to add a password as of, I think, 2018, a password was, well, actually maybe 2016 is required. So I'm just going to use uh, lowercase w-e-s, uppercase c, lowercase m-p-1. And w-e-s, c, m-p-1. Again, the c is uppercase. And next. And then it asks me where I want to save my company file. I, um, when I'm at home, um, I usually add my company file just to my documents and then company files where I'd place all of my company's files from my various software. So I'm, if I'm working with Sage, QuickBooks, Sage 300, I put all of the company files in the same place. So I'll choose next and I'll use my libraries, documents. I'll create a new folder called company files. Enter, and that's fine for me. So it actually creates the QBW. Again, I think of this as QB work, but I'm not sure. And save. Takes a minute, so I'll just quickly pause my cam while this does its thing. Oh, actually, it looks like it's going to be fairly quick, depending on the speed of your 
computer it may take more or less time uh, we're using the educational version of the software so I'll just choose OK uh, yeah it looks like we're done so I didn't even need to pause less editing for me so we have this easy step interview so I'm gonna uh, answer a few more questions about this company that I'm setting up so I'll choose next so I'm using um, the information from um, a textbook um, I'll post a link to the PDF that contains all of the data that I'm using so I'm gonna use both services and products and next and we're going to record each sale individually. Basically, it's asking us if we have a secondary point of sale system, such as a cash register even. Um, in that case, you would enter just your daily sales. But we're going to record each sale individually. And next. Um, in this situation, I'm going to say I'm, I don't sell online, and I'm not interested in doing so uh, these days. I would course always sell online and next charge sales tax yes we do our CA CRA business number I'm just gonna say one two it's usually a nine digit number one zero five three 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 four two four RT triple zero one and PST, I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And next. It tells me it doesn't like the format of this. Use this format instead, which is the same, which is strange. So I'll choose continue anyway. Um, we're going to, we're not going to create estimates um, with this company. Um, in um, lessons in the future, however, we will be looking at estimates four jobs and I'll choose uh, so I'm just gonna basically go with all of the suggestions from here on in so I'll choose next so I'm gonna leave this at its default tracking customers orders next using statements again we'll use statements later on but for now, I'll say no. Using progress invoicing, no. That's useful uh, for project management type bookkeeping. Managing bills you owe, yes. Do you print checks? And I don't, um, I'm not printing checks and I don't plan to, but in, we'll look at printing checks in a later lesson. And next, tracking inventory, yes accept credit cards don't but I would like to tracking time next we're gonna say no but I, again in later lessons we will be looking at tracking time do you have employees yes next and multiple currencies no again we'll look at multiple currencies in a later lesson but not in this situation and next using accounts in QuickBooks it basically gives gives us a little bit of information yes we want the system to indeed set up our chart of accounts for us otherwise it's a little bit of work and we're going to um, again work back in 2016 so I'm going to say use t today's date and then type in the date the the first day of the fiscal year that I'm actually going to use in this example which is uh, 1 1 16 I'm using uh, day month year on my system as you see in, in the uh, system tray there so I have to use this is the actual this is the day this is the month and this is the year and I'll choose next I'm gonna leave this at default we can always add more accounts later but you can always go through and see if there's any accounts that are here that you need or don't need and check the ones you need and uncheck the ones 
that you don't need. The stock setting at this time for me is good, so I'll just choose next. And I'll choose go to setup. When you click on go to setup, you get this QuickBooks desktop setup window. And it's got um, alternative methods of adding all of these items as opposed to using the centers. So basically, um, we can add a bunch of items at the same time. So um, if you accidentally close this window, let me just show you, you can find, and I'll just close this for now. It's a useful thing to look at on, on your own if you have a, a chance. Um, that window that I previously closed is under company and then bulk. Where is it here? There it is, bulk enter business details that brings you back to this QuickBooks desktop desktop setup so it doesn't use this name in the menus anywhere again it's under company so again if you close it you can get it back here so that's basically setting up the company um, the next lesson will be adding all of those uh, additional accounts inventory items customers vendors um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to employees and all of their balances, which is uh, a little bit of detail. So I'm going to quickly post this video and then I'll create another one and post those uh, fairly soon. Thanks so much.